Hello everyone. Today I'm looking at a 36 watt LED grow light from a company called SG LEDs. They sent me this grow light to review and right out of the box I can see that it is a very solid build. It's a little hefty. It definitely feels like it's a well-made bulb. And that is just what it is, a bulb. So you need to screw it into some sort of fixture with a socket. I have quite a few of these light fixtures. They're really great for screwing in any bulb up to 150 watts. And they have really strong gripping clamps to attach the light to my shelving. And one more bonus, they have an aluminum reflector to help spread the light even more. You can get these at Home Depot or Walmart or Amazon, of course. Okay, back to the light itself. When I turned it on, I was surprised at how bright it was. According to the company, the light puts out a 250 watt equivalent, but its actual power consumption is only 36 watts. Aside from being nice and bright, it's also not blurple. You know, that garish blue purple color that some grow lights give off. This one gives off a white colored light, similar to daylight. The manufacturer calls this a full spectrum light and it's rated at 4500 Kelvin color temperature. I usually look for a Kelvin color temperature of 5000 or above. Actually, usually around 6500 is my favorite. So at 4500 Kelvin, this is just a bit lower, but will probably be fine for most plants. The bulb emits light in wavelengths of between 380 and 780 nanometers. Plants use wavelengths of between 400 and 700 nanometers for photosynthesis. This range is called PAR, P-A-R, or photosynthetically active radiation. It includes some red, blue, and green wave bands, so this bulb should provide all the energy the plant needs. But technically, this bulb should not be considered a full spectrum bulb, in my opinion, since it does not emit wavelengths in the ultraviolet, far red, and infrared ranges. Looking at the reviews on Amazon, you can see that there are not many. I believe this is a new product, but the reviews I see here are all positive. This person says they bought the light for their cannabis seedlings. Not sure what that is, but after two weeks under the light, they have excellent growth as you can see by his pictures. I have a lot of grow lights. Most of mine cover a larger area and are more expensive. So if you're looking for a low budget grow light and you have a small growing area, then this light might just be right for you. The light bulb itself is just under seven inches deep and a little over five inches wide. And it has a standard E26 base. So it will fit into almost any standard size socket. The back of the light has a lot of vents. The company says it uses ceramic technology and a hollowed out structure to help dissipate the heat and also extend the lifetime of the bulb to 25,000 hours of use. You can see that the base is hollow and that allows the heat to be drawn away from the LED chips. I put this on a standard 24 hour timer and keep it on for 16 hours a day off eight hours at night. These timers are pretty inexpensive and easy to use. I definitely recommend connecting your grow lights to a timer. You want to make sure that the lights go on and off at the right time, even when you're not around to turn them on and off. Yup, timers are a great invention. Right now we are at the beginning of July and I'm enjoying the opportunity that gives us to grow outdoors. Mother Nature really does know best and I don't think any grow lights can fully reproduce real sunshine. But when the summer is over and the growing moves back indoors, then we do what we can. And this grow light is something worth looking at, especially if you have a small grow area and a low budget. Wishing you success with all your plants and thank you for watching. Bye.